What is it that keeps you awake? Losing a wife and a child like that. No, makes a man reckless, untethered. Fills him with anger and shame that he cannot express. Ever since your wife and daughter were killed, there's a question about that night's events that's been tormenting you, yes? Yes. Yes. Your wife wants me to tell you that your daughter never woke up. She didn't know what happened. She wasn't scared, not even for a second. You are safe, you are loved, and you are wise. Your wife warned you to quit the psychic trade. She begged you to stop, but you were making too much money. You were having too much fun. You can still hear her pleading with you. You got her killed. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, you just had to be a big shot. You had to get on the TV and run your mouth. It's your fault she's dead. You think I won't do it? Not sure. I wouldn't blame you if you did. Do you think they know how we feel? The dead, I mean. How sorry we are. How we wish things could be different. Do you think they understand? No. What if your family's looking down at you tonight from the seance? Trying to talk to you, but they can't. Because you won't believe. Sad. Look at you. Me? Well, until your wife and your daughter were killed, you were blind, weren't you? You were living an illusion. The red John opened your eyes. And now you see the world for what it truly is. He says his name is Patrick Jane. Patrick Jane? Really? It's red John, right? Wife and daughter, about a year ago. That's right, Red John. Uh, he's, he's killed at least eight women that we know of. The police asked me to try and get a psychic fix on him to see if I could get a sense of who this man is. This man, Red John, killed my wife and child. That's why I'm here, Rosalind. That's why I can't leave. There she blows. Classic Red John smiley face. Red John thinks of himself as a showman, an artist. He has a strong sense of theater. In all the previous killings, he made sure that the first thing that anyone sees is the face on the wall. You see the face first, and you know. You know what's happened, and you feel dread. You want to hurt a man? Don't kill him. Kill his family. Anybody that gets close to me, bad things happen to them. Can't you see there's people who care about you who need you? You're being selfish and childish, and I want you to stop it. I wish that I could, but, you know, some things you just can't fix. We're family. What you're doing is a kind of betrayal, a surrender, a defeat. You're letting Red John win. It's abusive, what you do. You use people, like toys. I think you act assured and arrogant, but inside you are troubled with deep guilt and self-loathing. I'm better off alone. Nobody is better off alone. You think he's losing it? Like, cracking up? And I, 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 I can't talk about it. It's not that I don't want to, it's just I have so many bad things in my head that I'd like to throw out. I just, if I start talking about it, I just don't know that I'll be able to stop. someone stands in front of you I'm gonna take away everything you gotta put them down I mean, right or wrong you put them down you get that don't you he said to ask you do you give up yet red john is one of the most difficult cases we've faced Red John doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't leave clues. If you have new evidence, it's because he wants you to have it. The question isn't what does it mean, it's why did he give it to you? Just under six feet tall. Not muscular, but not soft either. Short, straight hair. A gentle voice. 
rough, strong hands. He doesn't have friends, he has tools. You are nothing to him but a useful object. You're very much like him, you know. The way you look at people and see right through them, that is just spooky. Red John has your mind completely messed up. You see him every place you look. You think you're getting closer, but he is just playing with you. We'll see. Has it never occurred to you to ask exactly how Red John is always one step ahead of you? How is it he seems to read your mind? You tell me. Red John's got powers. Real psychic powers that you refuse to believe in. He's got powers. That's why he'll always defeat you. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? What does it mean? God made the lamb, but he also made the tiger. You can't have light without darkness, life without death. Without death, there's no life. Without darkness, there's no light. Wherever you go, you delusional freak, I will find you and I will kill you. And then, then I will forget about you. Red John is still alive. Red John is trying to form a closer relationship with you. Yeah, there's no relationship. And what if Red John took murdering Panzer as some kind of invitation? If your enemies, why hasn't he killed you? What? Why hasn't he killed the people you work with? I don't know. He's looking forward to speaking with you. As you well know, Patrick, there is no hell. When I die, I won't be punished. What if you and I were friends? Imagine the life we could lead. It's a higher path, Patrick. A nobler existence. Like I said, go to hell. If you truly want revenge, you have to be hard. You have to be dishonest and devious and cold. You can't let people see what's in your heart. You know that? Relentless manipulation. I am nothing like you. How would you know? I know. I only wonder why the two of you didn't become lifelong friends the moment you shook hands. He's someone I know. I'm getting close, this man. I'm getting very close. I bet you think you're pretty damn clever. But you're not. I'll show you clever. I'm going to kill a happy memory that you've never told anyone. And when you investigate, I'm going to lead you right to this video. The names are Brett Stiles, Gail Bertram, Raymond Hafner, Reed Smith, Bob Kirkland, Sheriff Thomas McAllister, Brett Partridge. There. I'm going to start killing again, often, until you catch me, or I catch you. We call ourselves the Blake Association. Well, who else is in the association? Cops, judges, FBI agents, anyone in law enforcement that needs a secret covered up. A secret society of dirty cops. And Red John's a member. Kira Tinsley told me something before she passed. She told me that her killer, Red John, has a tattoo. Three dots on his left arm. So who's Red John? Was it worth it? The man that killed your wife no longer exists. The time you took pursuing him. The pain, the sacrifice, wasn't worth it. Yes, it was. Hello, Patrick. After all these years, it seems kind of unfair. It's totally fair. Game's over and I won. I have no delusions. I built a secret empire. I control the lives of thousands of people. My word is life and death, and nobody knows who I am.
done. You're right, John. Hey, sorry that you killed my wife, Angela. And my daughter, Charlotte. Red John started killing people 12 years ago. It's hard to put an exact number on how many people he's killed, but it's somewhere around 28. Nearly all women late at night in their homes. He wakes them first because he likes to see the fear in their eyes. He likes to hear them beg for mercy as he cuts them open. He did that to my wife and daughter. And I've been looking for him ever since. Looking for personal vengeance. I believe that's my right. I have the right to kill the man that killed my family. I don't say I shouldn't be punished for doing what I did. I feel I had no choice. What would you do?